I first met that girl. She is skinny enough to sit on quarter, show silver all the way around. I married her. She, she went plum to suet. I swear she could get fat biting her fingernails. Hey, Charlie. Look at there. Threw himself a dent in the back of his head. More than a while ago from the looks of him. Under this horse told him. Hey, Charlie. Same as the other one. Ain't likely they both got horse load. Looky, I'll tell you what. I'll stay here with him. And I want you to ride into Stockton and tell the sheriff the whole story. All right? Uh-huh. All right. Yeah. You sure you know what to tell him? Sure. What? No, we ought to be moving out. There's your hang-up. Oh, roll up, roll up. Roll up. Big Mister. ten, big ten. Is it winning? Mm-hmm. Well, I could be two more days. Old Nick ain't gonna quit the game till he's got all the money or none of it. Days, you like Hab's images? Yeah, yeah, I like him. It's all yours. I'll see if I can pry him loose. For home, Nick. Home is where the heart is. Home is also where they expected us with some white-faced cattle. Mm-hmm. The valley's been without those pot belly shorthorns for over a million years. Another day or two shouldn't make any difference. Ha-ha! <laughs> Seven! And the money comes to smiling Nick Barkley. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Shake loose. You're all fired trail eager because you're all cleaned out, that's all. Well, it was. And I am. Well, our foreman, Mr. Dace Edwards, is older than two times ten and a half, and his pants come clear down to his ankles. If he can't roll out those pot bellies by himself, then we're really in trouble. We'll see you back at the range. No, no, no. You're going to leave me out on that trail with no one to argue with but myself, and you know it. So stick around. Well, what for? This is for. Come on, now, a little Dace. Come on, 200 more. Let's see. Oh, 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 look at all that money. Trail expenses. You move them out. We'll catch up to you later, eh? Yeah, I'll see you in a couple of days. Oh, uh, Dace. My uh, San Francisco tobacconist makes these up especially for me. Fifty cents a piece. Smoke them real slow, will you? Yeah, thanks. Well, uh, I'll spend a night at Bleak House, Newman's Crossing. See you there, huh? Yeah, at Bleak House. Have a nice trip. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on.
got any vacancies? How many of you is there? There's five of us. Well, 50 cents a head includes a hot supper and a hot breakfast. <laughs> well, Come on. Four of us are cows. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I swear, after the way your brother and I slave to get you all that schooling, you don't read nothing but something fairy tales. You're always thinking that you're a Cinderella princess. Anything wrong with dreaming? No. You just keep a good tight grip on that dream. One of these days, it'll all come true. You get enough money and we'll build that hotel up on the North Rise. A big, sparkling white one. A real showcase. And kings and emperors will come from halfway around the world to enjoy our hospitality. Why don't you fetch me a little taste of whiskey like a good girl? I have to wait. We've got a guest. Howdy. Howdy, ma'am. Well, howdy, cowboy. Here, let me take your gear. You've been swallowing a lot of trail dust, have you? Well, I chewed enough sand to make my teeth get short. Hey, well, sit down, sit down. I got something for you that'll make your teeth grow a foot and a half. Bill, pour the man a drink. Well, I always go first class. Now, you take it out of this 20. I'm uh, sorry it's the smallest I got, and take a dollar out for my accommodation. Yeah, well, I reckon we can find change for this around here somewhere. Where are you from, Mr. Um... Edwards, Dace Edwards. Originally from Cincinnati. Coming out west to make your fortune? Yeah, little idea of mine. I got them uh, four heifer cows out there, and I'm going to start a new breed. Yeah, I saw you right in. Those are eastern-looking cattle, all right. Hundred dollars a head. You must have done pretty well back east to save up four hundred dollars. No, oh, just a drop in the bucket. Here you go, cowboy. Thank you there. <laughs> Bell, you take good care of our friend. I've got some work to do out back. Hey, Pa. Oh, you care for a refill? Yes, I never did like to eat much on empty stomach. <laughs> Pardon me for saying this, ma'am, but I've been to one circuits, two carnivals, and eight county fairs. And you're the prettiest girl I ever saw. Well, I bet you said that before. Oh, never once. So help me. Well, I'm just a simple country girl. You're liable to turn my head. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that. Oh, here, let me. Oh, I love the smell of cigar smoke. It's got a man smell to it. <laughs> you know something? I never knew a man who was really comfortable with his boots on. <laughs> yeah, well. I've had them on for four days now. They're kind of stuck. They're kind of growed on like. Well, here, you just let me help you with them. Well, you take your other foot and push. Well, ma'am, I, I just can't do this. No righteousness. I just can't. Just lean back and push. Ma'am. Well, if I'd known about this place before, I'd have been here a long time. <laughs> Him a good one. He did. How much did we get? Four hundred dollars worth of cattle, if he was telling the truth. Bart, you better drive him up the West Wash until we can find a buyer. I figured he was worth getting. Got the cows what we get. Eighteen dollars and eighty cents in cash. All he had on him was that twenty. Sure he did well back east. Four hundred dollars, a drop in the bucket, he said. We got eighteen dollars and eighty cents. Plus what we're going to get for his gear and cattle. Now, that ain't bad for a half hour's work. But he fooled us. Someday I'm going to meet a man with so much money, he doesn't have to lie. Now, you, when, when you roll, you got to talk to those dice. How do you expect them to do what you want them to do if you don't talk to them? We better rest these horses. They're not sweating. Well, I am. I never once heard you say, come on, dice. Make it, and I'll get you some new spots. Nick, them squares are made out of ivory. They can't hear a word you say. All right, and how come I'm a $3,100 winner? You cheat. Ah, uh, I play the winning streak. Play the winning streak. You can't win, you can't win. 
You can't lose, you can't lose. You... Look over there, look. look. Look over there. See that little rabbit? You see him? You see him? Yeah, I see him. Well, now, I'll bet you $10 when I holler, he's gonna spook to the right. Huh? Huh? No, no bet. No. <laughs> there, see that? Now, when was the last time you saved $10 so easy? It must have been 15 or 20 minutes ago, when I didn't take that bet on whether them stupid bird's nests had pink eggs or blue eggs. You want to camp here? I got some hooks. We'll see how lucky you are with these traps. Oh, no, 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 no. I can afford a hot meal. Oh, oh by the way, uh, where was that place old Dace was going to meet us yesterday? Bleak House, up on Newman's Crossing. Oh, now, why can't we stay there the night? We'll get up, have a fresh start. Well, we're only six hours from home, Nick. We'll be in there before midnight. Tell you what, we'll flip for it. Heads we go to Bleak House, tails we go on home. Not huh? a chance. But I'll bet you the food is lousy. Fifty cents a visit. Oh, <laughs> You'll never get that bed clean that way. You're going against the grain. You're going to go with the grain this way. This way, eh? Uh, Looks like somebody got hurt here. Uh, no, we just slaughtered some hogs. Hogs, eh? Huh? Well, how does a half a dozen pork chops sound to you? Sounds great to me. Oh, uh, well, we sold off all the pork, but we got beef stew for supper, and for breakfast we got bacon and beans, and sleepings in the loft, and the price, 50 cents each. Here's five. Well, uh, I, 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 I ain't got change for five dollars. Oh, that's all right. You take it. We just want the best in the house. Well, you got it. Say, what time did our foreman leave this morning? Who? A fellow named Dace Edwards. He was driving some white-faced cows. He was supposed to stop here last night. Did he stop here? No, ain't been nobody around here for days. Uh, listen, I'm going to go down to the house and uh, get my assistant to start supper for you. All right? All right. Fine. Glad to have you. What do you suppose happened to Dace? Oh, I don't know. You get those fat cows moving, you wouldn't want to stop them now, would you? Well, I guess not. All right, let's get the horses on the saddle and get to that hot meal, huh? And one of them's got a roll of hundred dollar bills you could stuff a tall goose with. And they was asking about that feller that was here yesterday? Yeah, I said he was their foreman. Huh, he was just a foreman. Well, you can't trust nobody nowadays. What'd you say? Well, I told him we never seen nobody fit that description. Oh, good. Uh, you figure they got fifteen hundred, maybe uh, two thousand dollars? Oh, more than twice that. Enough to get us a real fine hotel. Well, uh, you feel them out, and I'll be in the back room getting some shut eye with both ears open. Howdy. Come on in. Just make yourselves at home. Got the pot boiling. Pork's out of the whiskey. Bill, get paid. Well, now. See what I told you? Some days you just can't lose. Howdy, ma'am. I'm Heath Barkley. I'm uh, Nick Barkley. Uh, oh, uh, uh, sit down. I'll, I'll fix you a drink. The best in the house, please. Are you the Stockton Barclays? Yes, ma'am. Hope you gentlemen are hungry. Do you like beef stew? You make it, I'll guarantee it. I, uh, I'll set the table. Let me help you. Your move, Mr. Barclay. Nick. It's your move, Nick. That wasn't a very good move. <laughs> Make it hard for a fellow to concentrate. Do you get by here very much? No, no, no. Not, not ordinarily. This may prove to be my favorite route to Fresno. I hope so. It is late. You said you were going to leave before sunup. I don't need any sleep. I do. Next time. It might be. 
be soon, you think? might be coming back. I hope so. Daddy? You let him get away. Those are Stockton Barclays, boy. Too rich, too many friends, too many folks expecting him back. But all that money. We tempted fate when we killed their foreman. Besides, that black-haired one, he, uh, he sparked a bell. They all do. We might build this into something permanent. Hold up. What's the matter? Well, I just, uh, just remembered I left that rifle of mine back at the bleak house in the barn. All right, I'll ride back with you. You'll need somebody to argue with. No, 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 you go on. The family, they might be worried. Of... Well, I'm sure Daisy's got back and uh, told them about that crab game. Besides, you might need some help with that girl. You get out of here. <laughs> I saw him with my own eyes. Jared, that's terrible. Well, the prodigal returns. I live and got me down. Now, what's so terrible? They found three more bodies in the North Jetty. Three more? That makes nine in the past two months. Any identification? Not unless you want to count their skulls being crushed in like all the others. We were beginning to worry about you. You were supposed to be here yesterday. Well, didn't Dace tell you we'd be late? Dace? We sent him ahead with the Hereford. Well, he isn't here. Well, they should have got here yesterday. Maybe you and Nick better double back, see if he's in any trouble. Well, Nick isn't with me. What do you mean? Well, he left his rifle at the place we stayed at last night and rode back to get it. Oh, well, then he'll be here in a few hours. Well, not exactly. Uh, you see, he left a girl there also. Oh? Not anything to worry about, though, because Nick's riding a winning streak. But if Dace doesn't show up in a couple hours, I'll ride back and check on him. Good. What's for lunch? <laughs> Oh, I didn't expect you back so soon. Well, I forgot my rifle. Listen, a man who sits a horse the way you do could ride five feet without noticing an empty rifle boot. Well, as a matter of fact, I was just about all the way home, and I remembered I'd stuck it under some hay in the corner of the barn here. <laughs> Many hands make light work. Here, I'll get that. Thank you. Uh -huh. Aren't you afraid you'll disappoint a lot of... Beautiful, rich young ladies up in Stockton? Well, if there are many, that many beautiful young ladies up in Stockton, I wouldn't have to take my rifle out of the boot in the first place. Besides, none of them are as pretty as you. Oh, Mr. Barkley! Bart, Mr. Barkley's here! Look, why don't you come on over here and sit down and make yeah. yourself comfortable? Bob, well, I... Bob, Mr. Barkley forgot his rifle. Why don't you That's get him right, some I... coffee? Hey, you're going to be staying the night, Mr. Barkley. Well, there's big doings in town tonight. Oh. There's a barn dance. Bill, you tell him about the barn dance. Uh, there's a barn dance. Oh. Well, I... Would you do me the honor of your company? You can wear your flowered dress. Have you had lunch? No, Bill, I... Bill, why don't you fix a picnic basket? It's kind of warm around here, and it's nice and cool in that grove down by the river. Ain't nothing do good for our starboard of Mr. Barkley. What'd Nick think of those herfers? You finally change his mind? It took some convincing. <laughs> well, they'll grow on him. Audra, what are you doing? You put any more sugar in that tea, you're gonna have to chew it. Well, nine men have been murdered. Aren't you too worried? Yes, we are. I'll get it. Oh, Sheriff, come in, come in. Good afternoon, Victoria. You're just in time for coffee. Thanks, Victoria, but... Hello, Hello everybody. Red. Red, I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you. We found another body. It was your foreman. 
Dace Edward. Oh, no. Dace? Where? The river, North Jetty, same place as all the others. Heath, how much of a head start did he have on you? About 12 hours. We were supposed to catch up to him at Bleak House, but he never showed up there. How do you know that? Well, we checked there last night. They hadn't seen him. I'm going to wire the lawmen upstream and form a posse. We'll ride with you, Sheriff. Let's go. Fine. What kind of a person would do a thing like that? Like it? Love it. I mean the picnic lunch. That, too. I was talking about your face. Are you trying to memorize me? Mm-hmm. From chin to hairline. I just... Well, I just can't get enough of looking at you, so... Why? Oh, I don't know. I think maybe I'm trying to find something wrong with you. Very difficult. Don't you found something? Mm-hmm. Blue, blue eyes. But a man could drown in those blue eyes. I never thought anyone would notice. <laughs> well, you have a defect, too. I do. Where? Your forehead. Your hair keeps falling down on it. Somebody. You are somebody to me, Belle. Somebody very special. Don't talk that way. And don't feel that way. Let's just let Just about the right amount of time. Bale? Bale? How did it go? It was just wonderful, Pa. You still got that money on him? Barry. Daddy, she's got a funny look, too, I ain't never seen for. Well, it ain't the kind of look you're ever like to understand. Well, would you mind waiting outside? I, I want to take a bath. Well, well, don't throw the water out when you're finished. Bart's going to use it. Daddy, do I have to? I'd appreciate it. like it's working out. Well, if Bill marries him, who's going to do for us? Oh, we can hire anybody we want. Uh-huh. She'll move in that big house and grow uppity ways and have us fetching and toting. Oh, no. We got a saddle on your sister, boy. Not if she marries money, we don't. Well, wouldn't the Barclays be flat out shocked to learn they got an in-law that's done the things that Bill's done? We're going to be rich, Daddy. Like having a tunnel to the bank, son. Like having a tunnel to the bank. What was she like? Hmm? Oh. First girl you ever in love with? Oh, that one. She was a most unusual girl. Was she like me? No. Oh, very different from you. Very different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A darker complexion, a little shorter, a little skinnier. But then again, so are all Paiute Indian girls at the age of 11. <laughs> well, now you're making fun of me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pry. Oh, I just suddenly feel like I need to know everything about you. Do you have a middle name? Mm-hmm. Nicholas Jonathan Barkley, ma'am, at your service. What about you? Where are you from? Your father and brother sound like they're all up around Missouri, Kansas way. In Missouri. Mm hmm. Whereabouts in Missouri? Oh, it's a place you never would have heard of. What's your army? Clay County.
Clay County, Missouri. It seems I have heard something about that. Oh, no. Just a good little place. Nothing ever happened there. Uh, well, I, I don't know about that. You were born there, weren't you? All right, enough about your past. Do you have any idea about your future? Hmm? Tell me. <laughs> Tonight, right after that barn dance, when we're all alone, do you know what I'm going to do? No. I'm going to buy us two steaks about an inch thick and two bottles of wine at the best restaurant in town. <laughs> I was, been called off, and I spent eight dollars in advertising. Oh, why'd you have to cancel? Most of the men rode out of town on posse. Who are they looking for? Somebody around here has been killing folks and throwing them in the river. A bunch of bodies wound up in Joaquin County. You might as well go home. Eight, ten people knocked in the head, maybe more. We can still get home before dark. Ain't nobody actual said lynch you, but they sure been fingering their ropes. Take me home, Nick. Still stay and have a little dinner. Please. There are people around here doing things like that. I want to get back and warn Daddy and Bart. Well, all right. Come on. This is where we found the bodies, and this is where we'll split up. We'll check every house upstream, both sides of the river. Ken, Baines, take the loft in place. The old man and his wife are over 70, but check it out anyway. De Colvin, Herm, take the Stern's place, also look in on the Hubbles. Next up would be Bleak House. Jed, now take that one. That covers 20 miles. By that time, we ought to be meeting up with the Lathrop Posse. All right, let's move out. Understanding, Nick. I'll take the buckboard to the barn and unharness. Paul. Paul. Paul, wake up. Paul, wake up and listen to me. Get up. Now listen to me. We gotta get away from here. There's a posse and they're talking lynch. Those bodies we threw in the river didn't stay underwater. They found a whole lot of them. How are they gonna trace them to us? When they can't trace them any further upstream than this, they're gonna start poking around here. There's nothing to tie us in. It's bound and arrow down to us, Bart. Now, do you want to take that chance? Yeah, hush, hush. Where's that Barkley fella? Out in the barn and harnessing. What's he going to think if he sees us riding out like this? A man hitting the head with a hammer don't think nothing. With that money of his, we can buy us a whole lot of distance. Nothing happens to him. Oh, Pa, don't you understand? For a few hours, I had everything I ever dreamed of. Right here in my hands. If my hands were clean. And it wasn't all yesterday's. It was tomorrow's. Bell. Bell. Oh, Paul, why does everything we touch turn to mud? He was a nice young fella. If we move on, there's going to be other ones. Not like this one. So what are we supposed to do about him? He's a loss. We tap him on the head, and we send him downstream. No! Downstream. Downstream. You got an idea. They found all the bodies downstream. What if they was to find one with its head bashed in upstream? Why, well, sure take the curse off on us. Well, where are we going to find a body? In the barn. Unharnessing. And with a pocket full of money. I told you, Pa, no. No. Well, whatever's going between you and Nick Barkley's past work, and he fills our needs like nobody else can. And then we can stay here and build our big hotel. We ain't ever going to have that big hotel. We won't ever have anything. Maybe. But it beats swinging from the end of a rope. You just move him into the right spot in front of the canvas. And we won't have to explain anything to anybody. We can stay here. We'll have a lot of money and be just as pure as a morning dew. I won't do it. Listen to me. You ain't never disobeyed your daddy before, and you ain't gonna start now. You hear me? You got no choice. It's him or us. He's coming. 
You better listen to Daddy. I've brung us this far, and I'm going to take us all the way. You just tell him we rode out to join that posse. Let him in, Bell. Let him in. dinner, our whole evening, but well, it's still early. I, I could fix you a cup of coffee and maybe a sandwich for cheating you out of your dinner, too. Here, let me help you. No, no, just sit down over here. I can do it. Oh. I realize how tired I am. Ah. Lean back there and relax. Stopped by here. He said he was gonna. A foreman? Dace Edwards. Matter of fact, I gave him a couple of cigars before he left Fresno. Cigars made especially for me. Like this one. Oh, let me see. Oh, yes. It's got your name right there. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you must have left it here last night. No, no, no. I'm sure I smoked all of them before I got here. Oh, you must be very tired. Uh, why don't you let me help you off with your boots and I'll uh, show you some real Missouri hospitality. Missouri? Clay County? Yes, that does ring a bell. My brother defended a bank robber from up that way. Had a strange defense, though. He uh, said he didn't even know he had committed a crime. The only crime that was known around his parts was working for a living. He taught the children how to rob and kill rather than read and write. And all the heroes the kids had were men like Jesse James and the Youngers. Can take care of that. No! A shot might bring the posse. And they gotta find a body upstream with a mashed in head, right? So let's get the cameras back up and take him up river. Get the posse? No, it's just as bad though. Heath Barkley and some other man. Let's get him in the back. Bill, you get rid of them fellas. <laughs> Afternoon, Bell. This is my brother, Jerry. Looking for Nick. Uh, I suppose he's at back. Uh, no, he isn't here. He did come back at noon to get his rifle, and then he went right back to Fresno. Well, he's a forgetful one. Sorry to bother you. Pleasure, miss. I wonder why she lied. That was Nick's horse we saw in the pasture. I don't know. Let's ride out a ways and double back, huh? Right.
Let's go. Hold it right there. Here, come back in the barn. Daddy, what are we going to do? You ever thought about dying, son? No way I can help it. Oh, Pa, it's no use. We ain't going to quit, Bill. I ain't never lost a fight yet. Gun beats hanging eight ways from Sunday. You got the guts for it, boy. I'm ready. I'm ready! It's over. I wasn't going to let him hurt you, Nick. I wasn't going to let him go through with it. Just sit back, Nick, and relax. Lean back, Nick. Don't. Sorry, Bill. You did love me, didn't you? Well, no, I'm... I'm not sorry about that. It's everything else. You don't have to be. What do you mean? I didn't kill any of those people. I just talked to them. Paul and Bart is the ones that killed them. How many people, Bill? I don't know, 15, 16, I don't know. And you just stood there and let it go on, huh? They'll hang me, Nick. Unless you help me get away. Get away? Well, there's only two of them out there. Two between us and the rest of our Those life. are my brothers. If those are your brothers out there, then they'd let us get away. There's got to be some place for us somewhere. I'm afraid you'll always be carrying some dead people in your hip pocket, Bill. I wasn't... I wasn't born 22 years ago. I was born this afternoon in a grove down by the river. And the doctor that delivered me said that a man could drown in my eyes. And then he kissed me. I never grew up around nothing but men folk who never turned a furrow. Never spent a drop of sweat. They never did nothing by the book. I ain't had to sneak away to go to school. Lived in nothing but old sod houses and caves. But someday we were going to have that big house. And then everything was going to be all right. Waiting for us. 